I now give the floor to Ms. Yuli Novak. Thank you. Members of the Security Council, it is an honor to address the Security Council today, and I thank the Slovenian Presidency for the invitation to talk to you about the state of human rights in Israel-Palestine. On Sunday, we woke up to the news that six Israeli hostages were executed by Hamas as Israeli forces came close. Another six added to the tens of thousands of people in this land who should not have died over the past year. During this week, hundreds of thousands of Israelis have taken to the streets. They feel angry, desperate, and betrayed by their government. They have understood that the Israeli government does not want to retain the hostages in a deal, but to continue the war indefinitely. To understand the Israeli government's criminal conduct over the last 11 months, you, must, you, you have to understand the overall goal of this regime. Since Israel was founded, its guiding logic has been to promote Jewish supremacy over the entire territory under its control. The current government's guidelines state that, quote, the Jewish people have an exclusive and unquestionable right to all parts of the land of Israel. In the criminal Hamas-led attack on October 7th, 1,200 Israelis were killed and 250 taken hostages. Since that day, I and every Israeli I know have been living in deep fear. Our government is cynically exploiting our collective trauma to violently advance its project of cementing Israel control over the entire land. To do that, it is waging war on the entire Palestinian people, committing war crimes almost daily. In Gaza, this has taken the form of expulsion, starvation, killing, and destruction on an unprecedented scale. This goes beyond, beyond revenge. Israel is using the opportunity to promote an ideological agenda, making Gaza inhabitable. As this council has been informed repeatedly, a vast part of Gaza's homes and infrastructures have been completely destroyed. By driving Palestinians out of entire areas and displacing millions, Israel is laying the groundwork for long-term control of Gaza that could lead to re-establishing Israeli settlements there. In the West Bank, including East Jerusalem, the government is exploiting the circumstances to create irreversible changes. Since October, Israeli forces have killed 640 Palestinians there, including at least 140 minors. Settlers are attacking Palestinians and carrying out pogroms in broad daylight with support of the from the government. They have so far managed to drive 19 Palestinian community out of their homes. And recently, the military uh, launched a huge operation to damage infrastructures that serves hundreds of thousands of people in the Northern West Bank. The international community did not stop Israel's criminal policy of massive harm to civilians in Gaza. Now, this cruel policy is spilling over into the West Bank. The war on Palestinians is also happening inside prisons. Since October, Israel has arrested thousands of Palestinians and held them in inhumane conditions. Last month, we at B'Tselem published a report called Welcome to Hell. It shows the shocking pattern of abuse that amounts to torture. The government of Israel has used the war to turn Israeli prisons into a network of torture camps for Palestinians. This violence is possible because Israel has enjoyed impunity for decades. As long as this impunity continues, the killing and destruction will continue and expand, and fear will continue to rule the land. The international community has failed its duty to protect civilians. Four UN Security Council resolutions on the Gaza conflict did not lead to a lasting ceasefire or free the hostages. The risk of regional escalation has grown. Diplomatic efforts did not stop the mass killing of civilians and the humanitarian disaster in Gaza. 
the Council must acknowledge this failure and take effective action to compel Israel and Hamas to immediately and permanently cease all hostilities. But de-escalation is only the first step. It is time for the Council to address the opinion of the International Court of Justice on the illegality of Israel's entire occupation and settlement project. Every day that this council does not act on the court's call to end the occupation and apartheid is another day you are abandoning us, the people of this land, who are suffering and dying in tens of thousands needlessly under a cruel and unjust apartheid regime. Thank you.